Hello, everyone, and welcome to Social Chats. This is episode number 40, and my name is Heather. My business partner, Catherine, is in Whistler as our producer today. And of course, I'm over here on Vancouver Island. Our guest, who's going to join us shortly, is actually in Toronto, Ontario right now. So we're very excited about the show today, mainly because most of us are entrepreneurs, which means we're struggling to keep our own business afloat. And wouldn't it be wonderful if we could actually just listen in on successful people who are actually out there um, killing it in the industry with their own business as an entrepreneur. So our guest that I'll introduce just shortly is Noelle Goodhue with the Teenage Tutors. And Noelle is a wonderful friend of mine from Toronto who will join us shortly. But first, I want to explain what uh, Social Chats is all about. This is a show that Catherine and I have passionately put together in order to help the small business person like you through the maze it is of being in business today. And it doesn't have to be social media or online marketing. It could be a brick and mortar business where people are walking through your door. How do we make it today? So what Catherine and I do is every week we go out and we look for people that are very successful and killing it in the industry. And we asked them if they would like to be on our show to share with you what it is they have done and what they are doing to be so successful. And we do this live show in order for you to ask questions to our guests. And because it's live, we generally get most of our viewers after the show is over. So if you're watching the replay of this Social Chats, episode number 40, you're welcome to continue to ask your questions in the comment section. And if you're here on the show right now, we love you to support our guests by asking questions and, and just uh, clicking the like button and things of that nature. If you think you would be a valuable guest on our show, we would love to hear from you. But also, we tend to get a lot of people that watch the social chats and say, I'd like to do my own show. And because this is Facebook Live and Facebook is all about, all about episodic television today, uh, reach out. Ask Catherine and I for a little bit of help. It is now my absolute pleasure to introduce you to today's guest on the show. Now, Noelle Goodhue has been an entrepreneur. They actually called her the serial entrepreneur. She has had a few successful businesses in her time. But right now, Noelle, I'm going to bring her into the studio. She is the founder of the Teenage Tutors, which is an incredible business. If you're a parent and you have kids in school, we're going to let Noelle talk to us about that business. But she also has another business called Ace of Space. And it's a completely different business, but that is one that goes out and helps people organize their lives, their homes, their offices, and things of that nature. Noelle, welcome to the show. Hello. Thank Hello, you very much. much. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Good. Why don't you tell us where you're at? I, um, well, I'll give you a bit of history. I, um, I got started as an entrepreneur when I returned from Europe in 1987. I was an au pair in Zurich, Switzerland for two years and then went on to London, England for Montessori training. And then I realized when I returned to Toronto in May of 87, I wanted to work with children. I had written a children's French English storybook and decided I wanted to start a business. And I wanted to start a children's bookstore and publishing company. And I registered my very first company, The Little Bookworm in 1988. Uh, a few years later, my husband and I opened a lingerie store, a little bit different from uh, the bookstore I had in mind, uh, and it was called Knickers and a Knot in the Beaches. My husband's sister and her husband owned a lingerie factory in Quebec, and that's how we got started. It wasn't really in my five-year plan with the children's bookstore, so needless to say, the little bookworm was put on hold for the time being. Uh, we had the lingerie shop for five years, and I hung up my retail hat to raise my family. And then in 2004, I opened a gymnastics school, Gym Dandy. I was a competitive gymnast and wanted to use my coaching skills. And as well, at the time, we didn't have a gymnastics school in the beaches. And I closed the school in 2009 when the government planned to put into place full day kindergarten. And nine of my 12 classes uh, were preschool. 
So at the time I closed, I thought, um, I'm ready for something else. So I started a home organization company called Ace of Space. And it's a, de it's a decluttering service. Um, and it's still in operation. And then in 2011, I started Teenage Tutors. And this sort of happened um, because my daughter, Veronica, was in grade 11 at the time. And she wanted to post her name and phone number along the lamppost in the beaches. And I just, I wasn't comfortable with her doing that. I just... There was something that said to me, okay, I don't know, maybe warning sign, something just in my, I just thought, let's start a little business and I'll go into the homes of the families and interview them and make sure she's going into a secure and safe environment. And um, that was 2011, seven years ago. And it's going strong and uh, yeah. So that's a little bit of my background and where we're going now. Yeah, and right now you're you're um, sitting out at uh, you're on a farm right now, aren't I'm you? I'm on a farm in the eastern townships, working. Excellent. <laughs> okay. So back to teenage tutors. So this, um, I love your motherly instincts. Your spider senses were going off, and you said we're going to do this, but we're going to take a different approach. You have an entrepreneurial mind a mind for creating businesses. So getting your teenage tutors off the ground, um, tell us how you did that. Like, where was your perseverance? How did you keep going? Um, well, I asked myself, I mean, with Veronica, we started to get, our first client was February, 2011. And it sometimes, you know, the next few months, we had three, four families. And I often ask myself, what am I doing? <laughs> you know, is it all worth it? And just persevered. And we found from the community, I would hear from people either on Facebook or just in the shops and people would um, just the good, the, the positive feedback I was getting. And as my daughter got, we got more and more jobs, her friends were finding out about what she was doing for part-time work. And then it started to grow within her community, within her high school and her friends. So it just evolved um, organic, I mean, just naturally, just, you know, the need, the support. We had honor roll high school students, their grades 10, 11, and 12 and all honor roll students, high achievers. And I think the reason why we're very successful now is that the parents, it's, it's almost like a peer, well, mentorship. The parents love that they're teenagers and there's a bit of a, um, there's a bit of a cool factor. Like the students are the two T's, the ones being tutored are kind of excited about, you know, the high school students coming to the door they're got their cap on backwards they play rugby it's you know it's like a big brother big sister um relationship and we've now had several families who've been with us for four or five years mm -hmm. so it's a good it's a it's a nice feeling our, our company motto is um a local a community partnership a local business a local business and a community partnership mm -hmm. and, yeah so so we, um, yeah, we've been now growing into other communities, not just the beaches. We're going into Leaside, Leslieville, other communities in Toronto. We now have, we're licensing the company and I've got licensees who've signed on in Toronto. And, and you're looking at coming out west, aren't you? Coming out west and Quebec. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful. Um, so... You have had to market this business as well. And you have several different ways that you're marketing because it's not just online. You did mention Facebook that uh, um, you get a lot of communication via Facebook. But tell us about the different types of marketing that you've had to come up with and, and to do on, I guess, when you're just starting, you don't have a big budget. No. Uh, to begin with, we had flyers printed, They're just little flyers like these. Um, we had some of our tutors, I would pay the tutors um, to deliver the flyers to the um, community, to the schools. And um, so that was our original flyers in, in the local coffee shops, uh, community boards. Um, and then the first week of school, I had some of our tutors where we have teenage tutors t-shirts 
Okay. It's tricky to say five times fast, teenage tutors t-shirts. Um, and they would hand them out the first week of school. So this was the start, really, the flyers. Um, we also had gift certificates. So I would donate gift certificates to silent auctions, fall fairs, um, um, just a fundraiser, fundraisers that the schools have. So that was um, a good way of doing it as well. And then um, yeah, it was mostly the flyers in the shops. Um, and you then, have a little bit like real estate agents, you have these yard signs. Yes. Oh, now we have yard signs. So <laughs> I don't know if you can see them, but we have lawn signs that we've made. And then the first day of school this year, I had several calls before nine o'clock because people were dropping their kids off at school and um, some mothers were taking pictures of the signs. And uh, so those are our lawn signs. And I also have bags that I've made for our licensees. They're, um, we're expanding across, I don't know if you can see it, but the licensees, yes, we can see the licensees get a bag with the lawn signs and all of our promotional material. Okay. You know, that is a lot of marketing. That's a lot of thought that you've put into this. And quite honestly, you just didn't create a business and then sit there and wait for the phone to ring. No, I, we were out knocking on doors. Um, and yeah, we were just, it was evolving, I guess, word of mouth. I, because of my, my businesses in the beaches prior to Teenage Tutors, People knew me from the lingerie shop and from the gymnastics school. And so I think they were in safe hands knowing that. Yes, they already knew you. So you had that relationship already mm -hmm. built and the trust factor was in there. And all of these things, when you're going into business, you're not quite a brick and mortar, but you really are a local community business that is now expanding throughout your province and, and moving uh, onward. So you must have created some type of a turnkey way to run this business in order to be able to franchise it. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good model. I mean, I've been in the retail business with a lingerie shop. I've had a gymnastics school and this there's no overhead. So really, I'm at the farm. I can open up my laptop. I sort of act as a broker between the families and the students, because once I've met with the client and interviewed the family, I connect the tutor with the family. And then from September right through till June, I, I will check in weekly, but the tutor is going to the family's home every once a week, twice a week, depending on what their schedule um, is. So it's it's no overhead. So I literally, I mean, it's it's just yeah. That's it's, it's my, no overhead's a big one. Yeah, so <laughs> I like that. Um, if you don't mind, Noel, can you share with the people that are watching today's live social chats? Was it always this easy? Did you have any struggles and how did you overcome them? Yeah, I think, I think having a good support from friends and family, you know, a good team and, and try to keep the negative thoughts and the negative people away saying, oh, it's not gonna work. Oh, you know, why don't you just get a nine to five job? Um, I think if you just keep persevering, if you've got a good idea and you just, what was that expression? Uh, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And I think you just have to have that mentality of perseverance. And there were days, really. I mean, when I was sitting there thinking, oh, my gosh, I've got three families. What am I doing? And it just, I don't know, it just then started to roll. So, so I, I, I really do believe in, um, yeah, good, positive attitude and not giving up. You know, and perseverance, perseverance. Yeah. Um, most businesses aren't made overnight. You know, the, the joke that is out there is, oh, wow, look at how well they've done their stardom. And if you talk to the person, they're like, yeah, it took me 25 years. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, research, really important. Do your homework. <laughs> Do your homework. Who are your competitors? Is there a demand? I mean, it is a big investment and it's your time and money, but just see who else is out there and your competitors mm -hmm. and and know who your client is mm -hmm. your client know who you're trying to target in order to grow your business um did you do any social media marketing 
Um, well, I, I, I'm not terribly techy. I mean, that's my, but I, I, it's coming. I mean, we're, we're, we've sort of got now a, a platform. We've got a kit that we, um, we have for our licensees and, but I do believe that the Facebook and Instagram, we get a lot of referrals because we're in these Facebook groups now. And, um, the, you know, some of these groups are 12,000 plus members and parents will comment or make a, a comment in search of grade nine math tutor. And we're now coming up on the feed or oh, you must try teenage tutors. So it's a nice um, it is some we have to develop it a little bit more where we're advertising a little bit more with teenage tutors on, you know, on social media. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen some of the stuff that that you're you're doing, and I love your graphics. It's all really fun. It's clean, and um, yeah, I think with a little bit more nurturing. And uh, do you run through slow periods? Well, of course, July, August, June, July, August, when the children are not in school. So I think that's you know that's where we have to make a real effort to put all our the resources together and figure out a plan on how, what we need to do with social media. But mm -hmm. right now we're full steam ahead. September school started a week ago. So we've been getting, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I can tell you that my business partner, Catherine um, and myself, we, we have kids. Catherine has three children and we would love your business here in British Columbia and especially up in Whistler um, where my daughter goes to school. Like this, these are the important years that their grades are, are really kept up in order to head into university. So you have a wonderful um, business. I, I love it. And what I love too, thank you. What I love is that some of our 2T, some of the children being tutored have now reached high school. They're on the honor roll and they now work for me. So it just, <laughs> I mean, I just want to cry. I'm so happy because it's a great part-time job. They make a great salary to save for university or to travel. And it's very flexible too. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I was going to ask you if you could share with people what your greatest achievement to date has been. It could be from all your businesses. Oh, I guess because this one is so dear, because I'm working with children and in the community. Um, I guess now we just signed up our first licensee. We now have four franchises. And knowing that it's going into other communities in Toronto right now, I just, it makes me so happy. So I get, I would say, yeah, franchising right now has been, it makes, puts a smile on my face. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And so if someone was deciding that they were going to leave their uh, nine to five job, the corporate business, because they had a passion and they had an idea for something they wanted to get started, what would you say to them? Um, I guess I'll, I'll have to reiterate from before, just researching, making sure, because you go out there sometimes now and you see, in, well, in my neighborhood at least, a lot of people invest money and time and they spend the money um on rent and you know no sooner you realize there's six or seven of the same shops and it's just the demand you're not gonna you're not gonna um satisfy um in the neighborhoods if there are six or seven of the exact same shops um i guess really finding out what who who you're targeting and where um you know, if there's six nail shops or six of the same, you know, try and either, if you really, it's your, it's your passion, you know, maybe look into another area because, you know, once you're into it for the rent and then the, you know, the extra bills that come on top of it and the employees and you just have to, um, yeah, make sure that there's not six or seven of the same. Mm-hmm. And, and we often, Catherine and I, when we sit down to work with clients, we have this strategy, this business plan that we ask people to fill out. And you're 100% correct. 
what is your competition? Do you know who they are? Do you know their strengths, their weaknesses? How much yeah. penetration can that market hold if you entered it? Um, we had a, a, a young lady, Nicole Clark, actually, uh, on the show oh, several months ago. And that's what she is. She's a business coach for helping people create a business plan for success when they're entering the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Well, we teenage tutors, we're a little bit different in that we're not certified teachers. We don't pretend to be. We are homework helpers. Um, so we're a little bit different in there's several, many, many tutoring companies. I mean, our price is very reasonable, um, but we are grade 10, 11 and 12 students um, offering the homework help. And I, I think that we're so successful right now is because the curriculum is so current. You know, the tutors uh, doing the um, helping with the uh, doing the tutoring there. The curriculum is so current or so recent in that, you know, they, they're just coming out of grade eight, nine, ten. So the, they're able to tutor mm -hmm. you know, those subjects and things have changed, you know, but. But um, that's why I think we're a bit fortunate because um, it, it's, it's not your regular um, tutoring company where most, most of the time it's certified teachers doing the, doing the actual tutoring. So now you have your business established uh, very well in the Toronto area um, and your other business is still uh, going strong on the side. Where do you see yourself in the next couple of years? Well, I, what I'd like to do is travel throughout Canada and bring my little kits all across the country and just bring it into the communities, Halifax, Calgary, Vancouver. Um, I have a real passion for education and children. And yeah, so that's, that's my five-year plan is to just the next five years just be teenage tutors to, sorry teenage tutors will be a name that people will recognize and I just love the community business I should know our motto we're a local business and a community partnership so <laughs> it's just that that's my five-year plan that is excellent that's excellent and I guess um, as you move out of your comfort zone of Toronto you will move into areas where you're not known where people don't know your name uh, most likely teenage tutors there will be some other type of competition you will do your research in each of those areas that you enter and then you'll have to figure out a whole new marketing strategy to attract uh, I guess you're going to have to attract the students who are going to do the tutoring and then uh, go and attract the parents I can tell you you would be a hit in Whistler with your business thank you yeah. Well, I think what we do first before I book the plane ticket, I, you know, get in touch with the high schools, the guidance counselors to set yeah. up um, meetings with the guidance counselors. And what I did do a few years ago, I bought over, I think, 25, 30 domains that link to teenage tutors because I thought, who are we? What do we do? How can I protect and secure teenage tutors? So I bought high school tutors peer tutors, homework helpers, honor roll student tutors, university student tutors. So I secured all of these domains and they all link to teenage tutors. So I think I've got about 30. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, that's I've, amazing. Good for you. And I've incorporated the company as well. And we have legal agreements in place for all of our tutoring, um, our client services agreement, our independent tutor agreements, and our territory and licensee agreements. So it's all done up professionally by a lawyer. And I've, I think I've got everything in place now. So I'm ready to travel. So everything just has evolved. It's not like it was all on the table when you started. And there was no uh, manual for you to read. No, I just, it sort of evolved, I guess, because I thought, okay, we've got this, but how do we protect it? How do we, if you have a really, you think you've got a really idea, good idea, and you tell your friends, and maybe you do a little focus group, secure what you do have, because I did have some competition, 
out in Edmonton and I they copied my website they copied my name they copied they I felt kind of badly but I had to order a um, Cease and desist. Yes. <laughs> I've had that. Um, I know. And I just, I, I, at first I thought, well, they were young kids and they got all these accolades from magazines saying what great entrepreneurs. And this was last October. And I just thought, I mean, I just, I was, I was in shock almost. How could they have done this? But the language on the website was almost word for word. So that yeah. was my, that was the only thing that was a, so well, you have to protect your business. Uh, it's not your nature to be that person, but that is your proprietorship and um, mm -hmm. that's your livelihood. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you, I did ask them if they wanted to be a territory manager with the company, maybe in a year or two. Mm -hmm. They were young. They were 18 and 19. So I sort of a little slap on the wrist and. And gave them an opportunity to yes. grow with your business. And that's what you're doing. You're giving people an opportunity to grow with your teenage tutors if they want to, if they want to be a territory manager, uh, so on and so forth. And I'll tell you, we are going to market this show, Noel. And um, quite likely you might get uh, some emails from people that are interested in perhaps um, starting up your model in their particular city. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> yes, it would. Excited. Um, well, and you know, we are almost 30 minutes into the show. And like I told you, it flies by. Wow. Oh, yes. it's Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah. But that's because you're talking about something that you love, something that you built out of the passion, blood, sweat, and tears of your life over the years. And, um, and so it's easy to spend 30 minutes talking about it. Yes, true. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any last words when it comes to being a superstar entrepreneur such as yourself that um, one last little tip of advice or anything? Well, there's a quote actually from Albert Einstein and I have it here and I made a little edit to it. Um, Try not to become a man of success, rather become a man of value. And I made an edit Try not to become a woman of success, rather become a woman of value. Oh, so, my. That's what I I'd love to that. share from Albert and I. <laughs> that's wonderful. And, and in today's world of marketing, it's not selling and in my face anymore. You have to show me the value of what your products and services are and how they're going to make my life better. Mm -hmm. uh, through caring and sharing, which is what you have just done with all of our viewers, Noel. I want to thank you very much. I'm going to wrap up the show and I'll see you in the studio in a minute. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put all your contact information, your website links um, and your email address, if that's okay with you, into the comment section uh, later on today. And then Catherine and I will turn this show into a blog. We will download it from Facebook and we will upload it to YouTube and turn it into um, a YouTube vlog onto our website. And that's how we take multi-purposing and batching our content to get more views. Um, Noel. Amazing. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> Okay, you take okay, hi to Catherine. I will. Super. Bye-bye. Well, everyone, there we go. That is our show for today. That was uh, Noelle with the Teenage Tutors. And I am just going to see. I can't move that because not sure why. So here we go. That was episode number 40. We have done 40 episodes of social chats where we have gone out and found entrepreneurs and business people that really are sharing with the world their success models, uh, whether it's social media, brick and mortar, uh, just marketing in person, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you think you would be a valuable guest on our show, we would love to hear from you. We're also very excited to secure our guest for next week and we will be doing some marketing on both Instagram and on our Facebook business page here at keep it simple social media and remember everyone keep it simple